Hey everybody, VR Gaming Fan here. There are a couple of issues that uh, exist I as far as uh, you being able to use VR um, that exist no matter which uh, VR gear that you use. Um, these two issues are glasses and sweat. Now the glasses issue is less of an issue if you have a PlayStation VR or a Vive uh, than if you have a Rift. Uh, glasses fit in them better, um, but they can still um, be a bit of a pain. For the glasses issue, there is a, a company on Kickstarter right now, VR Lens Lab. I'll uh, provide a, a link in the description below. Um, they're working on uh, custom lenses that you attach inside your headset that uh, you can have uh, ordered to prescription anywhere from minus six to plus six um, and they uh, uh, attach inside the headset so that you don't have to wear glasses inside the headset you get the full field of view um, you get to experience VR the way someone who doesn't wear glasses gets to experience VR so check them out um, but um, the, the one that affects absolutely everyone is sweat. Everyone sweats in VR and VR headsets have uh, foam padding that presses right against your face. That foam padding soaks up your sweat and becomes just disgusting. When you're you know, sharing a headset with other people and they put it on and the, you know, it's cold, slimy, it's absolutely disgusting. But also there is the issue that the, the oils and salts and things in your sweat eat away at that foam padding and will eventually destroy it. And since without the foam padding, the headset doesn't really fit, you can't use the headset anymore. So that is a major issue. This is something that everyone with a VR headset is going to have to deal with. And there's a company called VR Cover that produces um, cloth and leather covers that fit over that foam padding to prevent your sweat from soaking into the foam padding. The covers are removable, they're washable, um, they uh, varying levels of comfort. I mean the cloth ones are very comfortable, the leather ones aren't as comfortable, but the leather ones are, you know, you can just wipe them off and pass it to another person. So uh, depending on your uh, situation, whether you go, want maximum comfort or whether you want to be able to eat quickly and easily pass them from person to person is which one of the covers would uh, appeal to you. The, they make covers for the Samsung Gear VR, for the HTC Vive and for the Oculus Rift. Um, I wanted to wait until mine arrived so that I could show them on camera um, but unfortunately they have a massive backlog because sweat is uh, such a problem for VR they have been absolutely swamped with orders and so at the time that I ordered mine which was mid last month and mine still has not shipped mine won't ship until um, the end of this month so a month and a half wait just for it to ship and because the company is in uh, I think it's to the Taiwan or Korea um, it takes another two weeks for your shipment to arrive so you're looking at you know, two months or more before your order arrives. Um, I highly recommend that if, if, you're, if you're going to get one, get your order in as soon as possible because there is a very significant wait um, before um, your product arrives. Uh, I have seen uh, other um, VR users who have received their covers and are using their covers um, and all of them highly recommend them. I mean this is basically required equipment for VR. Um, basically regardless of which VR headset you get, having one of these is basically required equipment. You, you have to have it. You're going to sweat. It's going to get into the foam padding of your headset. It's going to make the foam padding disgusting and it's going to eventually ruin that foam padding that is required for the headset to fit properly. So uh, again, I will have a link down in the description below. I highly recommend that if you're getting any VR headset or if you already have a VR headset, that you, uh, you order a VR cover uh, and use it as much as possible. Um, 
you know, again, this is this is this is first adopter technology. The the bugs, the foibles, we're the ones who are going to discover it and find the workarounds. Um, and uh, I mean, you, you look at, at the, the reports that have come out about VR from people who have who have been early adopters already, um, and generally they're very positive. They're running into very few issues. Uh, generally, you know, everybody is just really loving the experience. But a a, a common complaint that everybody has is the sweat. And for those of us that have to wear glasses, uh, I'm not sure if I have to wear mine in the Rift, or not the Rift, the, the Vive. Uh, I will find that out once I receive it. Um, but for those of us who wear glasses, the uh, the VR Lens Lab uh, also could provide a, a very critical uh, piece of assistance. So uh, check out both VR Cover and VR Lens Lab. Um, I think that uh, both of them are absolutely excellent ideas and uh, I'm glad that these companies exist. So again, everybody, enjoy your VR and I'll see you next time.